So before I go ahead and do something, let me just explain what is going on here. I can use this camera right here to scan this space accurately in 3D, not just 360 degree panoramic view, but also 3D data. And this becomes incredibly accurate and useful information for your site survey. It could be residential building like this, or it could be commercial building as well. And I found it incredibly useful and accurate. And I just found myself using this all the time. So I just thought I would introduce to you. Hey, it's Joseph here. Today's video is not sponsored by Metaport. I just decided to do this video since I found Metaport extremely useful, but hopefully down the line, they may be able to sponsor or collaborate something. So Metaport, if you're listening or watching, do let me know that you guys want to work together. Anyways, let me just go over the workflow with you. First of all, you're going to need 360 camera. I believe you can use Ricoh or Ricoh 360 cameras but my camera of choice is Insta360 ONE X and it is quite small and it is sitting on this monopod that I have. You can just kind of bring it down like so and then it is just sitting on a tripod that I have purchased. There's actually something called bullet time tripod that they sell. Don't get those. These are much more useful. It just folds out and then become tripod. I definitely like this one much better. It is Zia Dio, however that you read this brand. But I really like this one. You have just a quarter inch thread and the receiving end here and you can just screw that in. It kind of feels like assembling a silencer to a gun. So you have this one right here. All you need to do is just unscrew top here and then extend. So you can just set this on a flat surface. And once you have done that, you can just turn on the camera and you have to connect your smartphone or tablet that you're gonna connect to this camera here. In my case, I'm gonna use this iPad here and I already have downloaded the scan app. You can just click on that and then open up that app. I'm gonna turn on this camera here and then you're gonna have to connect your smartphone or iPad, whatever the choice of your smart device that you have in order to scan the space. And I have this icon here since I already downloaded from my app store. And then I can just click on this plus button and the new job, I'm just gonna name it as test and then click on save and that's going to be test and then there's going to be a 3d scanning button on the right anyways i usually place the camera on a point of entry of the space but in this case i'm just going to set it right here since i need to show you what is going on and i usually walk out of that space or at least hide behind the wall so i don't show up in the scene but in this case i'm just going to stand here and try to not move and then i'm just going to click on capture 3d scan and the camera is going to make a little noise and then it's going to do transferring and once it is done processing the data it only takes a couple seconds and then this weird drawing will show up in the middle of your space that is basically the representation of what is going on in that space i can see kind of like the blob of myself and the kitchen countertop in black spaces where there is no scan data obviously it is blocked by island over there so it's not going to have anything shown but i can move this to a new location and scan another one so i'm going to move that further away to that way and see how that shows so I have moved that camera slightly further away from the island and I'm just going to click on scan and try to stay still. And as soon as it finishes, it's going to fill up the rest of the space and it's going to fade out into the background. You can just kind of go around the space and fill in. So I'm going to walk over to the other side of the corner of the room and scan that data as well. So I have placed it further away so that I have additional point of scan data. And obviously there's a lot of computer or technology wizardry that is going on here. So if for whatever reason, the position that you have scanned is not showing up correctly within your space here, then you can actually click on that and then delete the scan. In my case, it's definitely showing up correctly. However, if you're dealing with a lot of white walls that doesn't have anything on them, 
it may or may not struggle with aligning the skin on the correct position. And I have experienced something like that when I'm going through a door. So make sure to open up doors and scan right before going into the door. And then right after the door, you'll scan again. And if it doesn't, just kind of help it out, do multiple scans within the same location so it is able to track what is going on. I've also had trouble on a room that is basically mirrored or identical where Metaport is not knowing which room it is in. So I just kind of had to do multiple skins in front of the door so you can kind of distinguish what is going on. But in this case, this is a simple space and it's not gonna have much problem. So I'm gonna fill in the rest of the space by going into different corners. It's kind of fun doing this because it kind of shows up on your screen and it is actually amusing to watch. So let me just go ahead and scan the rest of the space. And obviously in order to increase the accuracy, you can do multiple scans, but in this case, it's not needing that many, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Probably five scans will suffice. For this living room here, you can actually click on one and then preview the image. There you go, you can actually see myself right there talking to the camera. So with that, I can actually upload it to Cloud, and then Metaport will do some fancy AI or computer wizardry, as I have said. And then when it is finished calculating and stitching all of these information together, it'll send you a report saying, everything is done, you can look at that project. And then you will have that typical Metaport 3D scan. And getting the sense of space in mirror photos is usually really difficult. However, if you use something like this where you have this smooth transition from scene to scene, and then be able to just kind of pan around just like what you have on Google Street View, and then be able to have the street view of the space that you have scanned. And this gives you much better understanding of your space. And if you're wondering, hey, what was the trim type, the baseboard color, or the light fixture type that you have in the house, you can pick out immediately, and this information becomes incredibly useful. And that is all done with this tiny little camera, powerful and useful stuff. And pro tip here, because the lens actually protrude out on either side, if you lay it down on the tabletop or floor it will definitely scratch the lens. You got to take a good care of the lens. So there is a polyurethane cover that Insta360 ONE X ships with. However, I didn't really find that useful. So I got this rubber cap. This is actually official Insta360. They also sell on Amazon. You can get it for, I think this was like $12. And then you can just kind of put this on and everything is safe. You can just kind of lay that on the floor without scratching the lens. And I carry this all the time whenever I go on site visits. I wanna do a review of this device alone later, but for now, just the Metaport workflow only. And Metaport themselves also produce a massive camera for them to carry to the site and actually have much more accurate information. However, because it is massive, it is always hassle to carry that to different sites and set it up and actually like turns around and scans the data so you have to like walk with it. It's a lot more cumbersome. However, this package, you just need to carry this, maybe USB cable and the tripod that is going to collapse into virtually nothing and just packs nicely inside of your backpack. So if you have found this video useful, please like and subscribe to my channel for contents like this. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.